Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I love nets and activities that utilize them. I like fishing, but too bad I can't go jellyfishing in my backyard because there's no fish or jellyfish there. I also hate getting stung. Jellyfishing is the episode where Spongebob and Patrick take Squidward jellyfishing after he has a bike accident. This episode aired on July 31st, 1999, and after this point, Season 1 episodes aired at a decent pace. While Tia the Tree Dome showed Spongebob jellyfishing for the first time, this is the first episode to not only show Patrick jellyfishing as well, but the first episode to truly shine the spotlight on this hobby. The hobby of jellyfishing gets much more focused than bubble blowing and has many more episodes focused on it, so it's important that jellyfishing is shown off well. Jellyfish sting you, which makes them the underwater equivalent of bees, and jellyfishing is the underwater equivalent of fishing. Does that mean catching bees in a net can be a fun hobby in real life? No. My dad got stung by them while trimming the hedges one time, and it gave him a little allergic reaction I like to call Saturday Night Swelling. I f hate bees. This episode also shows us Squidward getting hurt for no actual reason, i.e. doing nothing to truly deserve it. This term was coined Squidward Torture, but it wasn't truly thought of that until Season 6, where it occurred more frequently. Strangely enough, it's not really brought up with this episode as much as it is with others. Why is that? Well, I have two theories. One, this episode is from the time when Spongebob was at its apex and every episode had hilarious moments. Two, this episode is actually funny which gives it more of an edge compared to the episodes from the later seasons that do what this episode does. Because this episode actually involves Squidward getting hurt constantly, does that alone make this episode bad? I don't know. Well, let's watch this episode and see if this episode is actually bad or if it holds up as well as most of, if not all, season 1 episodes do. So the episode starts up and we hear the French narrator talk about jellyfish. This is the first episode with their design of being pink with spots, as Tia the Tree Dome showed them off as purple with no spots. As a jellyfish flies by Spongebob's house, Spongebob sees it through a periscope. He and Patrick prepare for jellyfishing by going through vents, sliding down ropes, getting rope burns, and putting their nets together. After their nets are put together, Spongebob puts his jellyfishing glasses on, they go outside and skip after the jellyfish. It gets angry, chases after them, and stings their butts. That goes to show how bad bees can be. I once got stung by yellow jackets while I was mowing the lawn. Before you say anything, yes, I know yellow jackets and bees are different, but the sticking still hurts like hell. I still have the scars from two years ago. They haven't gone away. I haven't been able to walk right since. And that wasn't the only way I was scarred, if you know what I mean. Squidward comes out of his house getting ready to go on a bike ride. Spongebob invites him to come with them. Squidward sarcastically says jellyfishing with his two best friends would be his best day ever but he decides against it and leaves. Patrick points out the obvious when he says Squidward doesn't like them, but Spongebob denies it saying they're his best friends. Squidward is riding his bike down the street, laughing on how he had them going. Unfortunately, while he is riding, he encounters a jellyfish and tries to swat it away, but it goes under his shirt, gets his four legs tangled with the pedals, and he falls down a cliff and explodes. Later, Spongebob was waiting for Squidward to come home, and when he sees Squidward, he's coming home all bandaged in a wheelchair. Spongebob calls Patrick, and they decide to treat him to a best day ever. When Squidward comes home... Welcome home, Squidward! Merry Christmas! I love Christmas too, even though it's September. Patrick tries to give him alphabet soup, saying, best day ever, but due to the bandages on Squidward's mouth, he can't eat them. But Patrick thinks it's because it's too hot, so he blows on it while accidentally blowing the hot soup in Squidward's face. Spongebob takes the soup away and tries to play music on Squidward's clarinet. It sounds bad, so he licks his lips continuously, but Patrick takes it away. So Spongebob and Patrick have a foolproof way to give him a best day ever. Spongebob and Patrick take him to Jellyfish Fields so they can go jellyfishing, even though Squidward doesn't want to, but they don't know that. Patrick sets him up by going FIRMLY GRASP IT! <laughs> which causes more pain for Squidward. When Spongebob and Patrick spot a jellyfish, they try to encourage Squidward to go catch it, but he doesn't. 
Shocker. So they try to show him how jellyfishing works by jumping and singing the Blue Danube. Oh, that validates everything. This little performance ends with Spongebob and Patrick tumbling down a big hill and getting stung by jellyfish. Then a jellyfish stings Squidward's nose, so he goes after it for revenge. Spongebob and Patrick spot him doing this and cheer him on. When Squidward finally catches it, he bangs it against some kind of pink hill, which is revealed to be a giant jellyfish. Squidward runs away, but Spongebob and Patrick cheer him on thinking he's really enjoying jellyfishing. This goes on until the giant jellyfish stings him, and they realize what truly happened. The next day, Spongebob and Patrick, covered in band-aids, come to meet Squidward as he returns home, this time in a mechanical bed wearing a giant body cast. Spongebob and Patrick try to apologize, but Squidward's in no mood to listen. They try to give him a present, which was the jellyfish he caught yesterday, but he lets it go and it stings them. As they run away, Squidward laughs, but the giant jellyfish appears and stings him again, which causes his body cast to break. Squidward just says, ow, and the episode ends. So that was jellyfishing, and oh boy, it happened. It shows off Spongebob and Patrick's craziness when they are jellyfishing, which is always enjoyable to watch. On the other hand, let's analyze the portions of Squidward getting hurt and see if that actually makes this episode bad. Obviously, when Squidward actually does things like hurt or embarrass Spongebob and or Patrick, he would get punished, but that's when it is deserved. Here, he does tease Spongebob and Patrick, but this is light. When he swats the jellyfish, he gets in the accident, which could be considered being rude to wild animals, but he still caused it to happen and clearly had no respect for the jellyfish. Spongebob and Patrick unintentionally hurt him, but that doesn't change the fact that this pain, or this, or this, was entirely deserved. They do realize what they did to him, and they apologize. The ending sting, however, I can't tell if that was punishment for letting a jellyfish sting Spongebob and Patrick or not. Aside from all that, there are a few other things about this episode. There are some parts that kinda drag on. For example, Squidward laughing on the bike and the jellyfish coming in his direction, Spongebob waiting for Squidward to come home, Patrick blowing soup, Squidward chasing after the jellyfish and vice versa, Spongebob licking his lips, and his and Patrick's jellyfishing demonstration. Personally, I'm okay with the last two points I mentioned because those are much funnier than the others in my opinion. This episode feels sort of slow paced and doesn't show much of actual jellyfishing compared to how much bubble blowing is shown in Bubble Stand. The jellyfishing is only in the very beginning and the second half, while the bubble blowing is much more frequent and focused. The jellyfishing is still fun to watch, but it just doesn't feel like there's enough of it in this episode. In the end, this episode could be considered Squidward torture in a way, and some people may not like that, which I can understand, but there are some funny torture moments, especially the FIRMLY GRASP IT line. If all torture moments, no matter what character we're talking about, were always funny, it would be a lot less irritating to sit through. I feel people like this episode more because it's actually funny, which this episode has going for it compared to an episode like episode 225, Cephalopod Lodge. That episode is much more frustrating and barely funny at all. This episode might not be the absolute best of season 1, but that doesn't make this a bad episode, far from it. This might be a bit on the average end of the spectrum to some fans, but I feel it's still memorable for this, this, and this, and the Blue Danube. Jellyfishing was alright, even though it felt rather slow paced. The comedy is still very season 1, there's no doubt about that. And while Squidward was heard unfairly at times, it could definitely be worse. And while it did get worse in some episodes from the future, I still completely get why some people may not have liked that. But something I'm confident that we could agree on is that stinging hurts really bad. I should know. <laughs>